There are few places on this earth where ancient ecological processes remain intact. The watershed of Rough and Ready Creek in the Siskiyou National Forest of Southwest Oregon is one of those rare places where the past has been so little severed from the present. This is a wild river of singular beauty flowing through wilderness, roadless, and botanical areas. But all this is threatened by the NICOR project, a private company's proposal for a large nickel strip mine. The proposed mine is coupled with one of the largest attempts by a mining company to privatize public lands in this nation. If these mineral patents are granted through provisions of the 1872 mining law, the owners of NICOR would gain title to 4,360 acres of priceless, botanically rich national forest and Bureau of Land Management lands and the wild river that flows through them. To a growing number of botanists, writers, hikers, photographers, and wildflower enthusiasts, the rough and ready creek watershed contains some of the most hauntingly lovely, lonely, and intriguing country in the Siskiyou Mountains. Maybe it's the awe one feels when looking out over a community of life 40 million years old. Perhaps it's the knowledge that the species inhabiting Rough and Ready's landscape have adapted over millions of years to the harshness of the red peridotite rock, serpentine soils, mineral imbalances and concentrations of heavy metals, while less resolute species have disappeared. The beauty of this stark red rock rainforest permeates the senses. With only about 10% of the area surveyed, more than 300 plant species have been identified in the 23,000 acre Rough and Ready Creek watershed. Many of these are rare or endemic. Though desert-like in appearance, the area receives between 60 to 110 inches of precipitation annually. Rough and Ready Creek's exceptional water clarity is a reflection of the integrity of its watershed. Its unrestrained sweeping bends and braided stream channels are the summation of the raw, wild landscape of its origin. The ancient gnarled cedar and pine tenaciously rooted along its banks are survivors of extremes. Blood, drought, sun, and rock. Native bunch grasses, wild azalea, and rare willow grace its banks, punctuated by springs that form unique wetlands of rare and carnivorous plants, lilies, and orchids. In recognition of the uniqueness and the nationally outstanding botanical and ecological values of Rough and Ready Creek, the Forest Service has determined it to be eligible for a wild and scenic river study. The findings of the study will result in a recommendation to Congress on whether Rough and Ready Creek should be added to the national wild and scenic river system. It seems incredible that this landscape of great integrity, this beautiful river, could be irrevocably harmed by the NICOR mining project and become private property as well. Despite the injustice and the environmental impacts, it is the Forest Service's position that the 1872 mining law grants individuals or corporations the right to mine the national forests and that this privilege cannot be denied. Even on sensitive, priceless lands such as Rough and Ready Creek's botanical and roadless areas. By default then, mining reigns supreme on our public lands, coming at great expense to current and future generations. The 
The NICOR project would produce stainless steel from the concentrations of minerals found in the soils of the rough and ready watershed, mainly nickel and iron. In the initial phase of this plan, the mining operation proposes 15 miles of road through the rough and ready botanical area and South Calmeopsis roadless area, fording rough and ready creek and its tributaries at 11 locations. The road will access four separate mine sites, all in the South Calmeopsis roadless area. 25-ton trucks would transport thousands of tons of ore and stockpile it on rough and ready area of critical environmental concern designated by the Bureau of Land Management. If NICOR is allowed to mine the watershed, the huge ore trucks could be driving through Rough and Ready Creek as many as 14,000 times per year. The enormity of the potential destruction of this botanically rich, wild landscape by the NICOR project can only be guessed. But we can look to nearby mining for examples. A small, by comparison, five-acre placer mine on national forest land nine miles north of Rough and Ready Creek. The creek flowing through the slag stockpiles at Glenbrook Nickel in Riddle, Oregon. According to a 1995 EPA report, Glenbrook Nickel is the fourth largest producer of toxic releases in Oregon. However we choose to look at the proposed NICOR mine, we must decide what legacy we wish to leave our children and future generations. What will they value the most? Only through enormous public pressure and political support will Rough and Ready Creek and its botanical treasures survive into the 21st century as they have for 40 million years. We need your help to protect Rough and Ready Creek Special legislation or administrative action is needed to protect this unique wild river and its watershed. Please write your congressional representatives. Help us keep Rough and Ready Creek wild and free for another 40 million years.